Hi everyone. It's hard to imagine, but the stage is now set for yet another Vanderbilt rape trial. First, Brandon Vandenberg, then Corey Beatty, now Brandon Banks. News Channel 5's Nick Barris uncovered exclusive details on the collapse of a plea deal and a victim who is willing to return to court yet again seeking justice. Will there really be another Vanderbilt rape trial there in criminal court? Well, it comes down to this. How much time is Brandon Banks willing to serve behind bars? And how much time are prosecutors willing to offer? Sources tell me they are far apart. Brandon Banks has basically sat back and watched as two other defendants, Corey Beatty and Brandon Vandenberg, were convicted and sentenced to prison for raping an unconscious woman in a Vanderbilt dormitory four years ago. Now it's Banks' turn to stand trial for the same offense. Well, I do think the evidence against him is going to be the same. And that evidence is devastating, especially cell phone video and photos of the assault. Some cell phone images were challenged in court last week by Banks attorney Mark Scruggs, but unless Judge Monty Watkins throws it all out, Banks will face essentially the same evidence that resulted in 15 and 17 year sentences for the first two defendants. So many figured Banks would jump at a plea offer. Mr. Banks has decided that uh, he would rather go to trial and run the risk of maybe some additional jail time as opposed to what the state's offered. There's little doubt there have been plea talks, but News Channel 5 legal analyst Nick Leonardo says a possible offer of, say, 12 years may have Banks thinking of taking his chances at trial. One thing is certain, his alleged victim will be there if needed. I think we know that the victim is willing to move forward. I think we know that uh, the district attorney's office is willing to move forward. As we stand here now, trial is set to begin here on June 19th. Now, between now and then, no one is giving up on the possibility that there might be a plea deal. But the fact that one hasn't been reached yet means all parties involved are now beginning to prepare for trial. In Nashville, Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Thanks, Nick. If Banks is convicted at trial or agrees to a plea deal, he will do prison time and also become a felon and go on the sex offender registry. A fourth defendant, Jaborian McKenzie, is still awaiting trial.